Welcome to another episode of Analysis. Bro, we're crushing it. March Madness for the analysis. It's almost done. Like, c- crazy guests, crazy live pod. Oh, my God. I can't wait for what's next. But you guys have been amazing. Supporting me all the way. On every so Like, every everything we do is crazy. Like, even it's a podcast, even social. I start, like, every, you guys have been behind everything. I really appreciate it. And today we got a segment of fourth quarters presented by Carbliss. <laughs> Apparently the podcast is doing well. We got sponsors now. What you got for me, Tony? All right, want to start off faster. We get through this the quicker. We can go grab a Carbliss here. But um, <laughs> I want to start off. So recently, you and a bunch of your so teammates. Wait, what's up? Want to say something about Carbliss? Okay. Uh, please. Uh, when it comes to alcohol, please drink, drink responsibly. Thank most, you. Most important part. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, uh, recently, you and your teammates, you were able yeah. to go uh, with your assistant coach, Vin Baker. He opened a recovery center uh, yeah. in Milwaukee. And just, yeah. what did it mean to you just to be there with your teammates? One of you, one of the coaches who is, uh, you know, one of the faces of this franchise for so long, just to be there to support him in that initiative. It's, it was crazy, man. It was, it was so, I was so emotional because, like, what he's been through. And what he does now to open a recovery center called Vin Baker to be able to inspire people and help people. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy. And he said something in his speech that, like, I would never forget. You know, and I remember the day he was like, when I was for this team and I came back, the, the, the headline said, uh, Sports Illustrated, uh, Vin Baker uh, battles alcoholism. That was the one headline. Then he said, "Sports Daily." Then he said, uh, "Daily News, New York, New York Daily News said, Vin Baker from the NBA to Macados, you know, like because he worked for Starbucks because he didn't have anything." Another headline was like, "Vin Baker uh, loses hundred million, you know, what he was going through, and now 2024, Vin Baker opens a recovery center to help people." And to, to let them know you're not alone, to help people rebuild their lives, this is incredible. This is, uh, and, 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 and everything, like him winning together a championship in Milwaukee, like the way this guy is for Milwaukee, the, the, for the community, and, for the, and do it in the city that drafted him in the mm-hmm. NBA. Top notch, His bro. son got to play down the street at UWM for a poetic, few years. Poetic, Tony. Just a great story. Round of applause for Coach yeah, yeah, Baker. Yeah, yeah, Let's give it up one poetic. time. All right, next one. It is NFL draft season officially, right? People are very focused on the draft. Uh, okay. I've asked you about Giannis's draft night. Yeah. I want to hear about yours. I want to hear a little, just a well, little, we'll talk about it in depth at some point, just a little behind the scenes, your draft night, the, draft. Ner- the nerves, the thoughts, everything that kind of went into that. It's crazy. So, the, so my whole goal was I just wanted to get drafted mm-hmm. because Giannis got drafted. So in my head, I was like, and, and as much as people nowadays, you know, with social media, they're trying to minimize everything people do. Like getting drafted is like, you know, you top sixty. In, as a sixty people do it every year. Every Six, year, zero. 60, get to that's do it. it. And uh, that's five college teams. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. And uh, and I was I, I was grateful and I was blessed to be able to get drafted. Um, and he got drafted number fifteen. I got drafted number fifty one. Oh, well, that was funny, and it was waited, <laughs> but. Uh, and what's so crazy was that I was in New York and I could, you know, I think a lot of people who know they might go mid second round or like they don't know. I was thinking I was between 35 and 60. Mm-hmm. Uh, they just tend to stay home. They don't care about them. I'm like, oh, I, I just want to go first round. I don't want to go second round. And I was like, no, nah, I really, to be honest with you, see study moment. And you can see, till, you can see videos online till today. Just me going up there and Mr. Mike Taylor saying my name and I go out and get my hat. And uh, I remember the only fans that was in the building was the New York Knicks, fa- Knicks fans. I was like, man, they're, who are they waiting for? They, they're going to dress something nice. You know, like and, <laughs> in my head, I, I never thought I was going to New York. Mm. But uh, I remember what, like, I had a crazy work with, with, with uh, Phil Jackson at the time. And he was like, you know what? I like your game. You remind me of Dennis Rodman, Trevor Ariza, like all this. He gave me all these names. I said, oh, thank you, sir. But I didn't talk. I didn't Wait, think so I was pre draft, Phil Jackson said yeah. he reminds you of Dennis Rodman? But, uh, yeah, man, that's, and, and, yeah. That's bad. and then people ask me why I got so much confidence, bro. Get off me. Because the greatest coach <laughs> of all time yeah. he compared you to Dennis uh, Rodman. Exactly, exactly. But uh, uh, then after that, I was like, I didn't know I was going to New York. 
and all the things like that. And then I ended up going to New York, and New York was a blast. Like people, I, it was crazy. It was a period for like six months. People didn't even remember that Giannis was got drafted, bro. Because I went to New York, and New York was such a big thing, mm -hmm. you know. And you know, I stayed in New York for, uh, for two years. I ended up playing my second year. It was my first year. I went. They actually made a G League team mm -hmm. because I was coming to the team. They was like, oh, you know what? Uh, we're gonna make it because we want to do a development prog program, and you might be one of our first players. So they had the Westchester Knicks. I had crazy great time there. I ended up playing with you know Clay Anthony early, uh, Langston Galloway, and then my second year. We had a squad. That's this, that's the year we had uh, Jimmy for debt, and that was Ooh. the year that me and Jimmy would play. Like, like he would play first with the, he would go get a call up, then I would get a call up, call okay. up, and it would go like up and down me and him. But uh, I had a great year, and then I just went overseas. I was like, oh, mm -hmm. time to get this money. <laughs> the, the, that's what we're playing for. <laughs> right? I went overseas. <laughs> uh, one quick bonus question: the yeah. draft hat. So you there? You got your hat? Yeah. With the Nick, you still have it. Yeah, I have money. money. I, I, I kind of assumed. I took, I took like five, six uh, for the whole family. <laughs> I remember I had, and then we did a, did a picture that Yannis was wearing my hat. I was wearing his hat. Love that. And then, but the whole like interview, he went through with me the whole interview and like having him next to me when I got, when he, when I got drafted and I was next to him when he got drafted, like it was an amazing feeling, man. All right. Two more quick ones. Four oh, quarters man. presented by Carbless. Uh, this one's off the rails. I got to read this specifically. We got this from someone in, our, in, our, in my office. Would you rather fight a horse-sized duck, so a duck the size of a horse, yes. or 100 duck-sized horses? I'm going to let you so, think about what this looks like. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to visualize what I think I've heard this question before, but I never thought about what the... Uh, so I'm not fighting a duck that's the size of a horse. Like it's, it looks scary, like almost terrifying. I'm envisioning like. a giant rubber duck. So it's yeah, not no, as because scary you're, to you're, me. But what if it's a duck that, have you ever seen a duck chase people? No, around? ducks are mean. Exactly. So I, so I, I like to golf and you, if you get anywhere near geese, which I know like I'm the same thing, but they're yeah. the same thing. Those things are, they got teeth. They come at you. Exactly. Mm -mm, not no. for me. But duck, I mean, I can, I think I can run a hundred you know, hundred could fill the whole studio. The whole studio. <laughs> no, not neither. 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 I'm cool. And then the last one of here are four quarters. I want you to give just a little preview, 15, 20 seconds. Oh, well. If people weren't at the live event, that episode oh, is dropping God. soon. You guys, just give missed, me a little tease. Yeah, you guys. I don't want to say you guys missed out, but I'll give you one example. I'm just gonna say one thing. In the live podcast, I was expecting to have 200 people and 1,100 people showed up. Over 1,000 people showed up. And that's why, like, Milwaukee is the best place ever, bro. And hey, hey, above 1,000 people showed up. They didn't know who was going to be. And then you should have just seen Giannis' face when Stephen A. Smith walked in, bro. It's priceless. And, and then, and then. <laughs> A night to remember. A no night to remember. And the whole, like, it was. Great. And and you know what's so crazy? I feel like we haven't seen it because guys, I it was so so crazy that uh, everybody's been telling me like just keep it, just like figure out a way to get it to you guys. Uh we're working on it. We're working we're, on we're it. We're working me. on it. But uh trust me, you're gonna love it. It's it's eye opening. It's it's almost like a podcast special, bro. Kind of. I'm just waiting for Netflix and Amazon no, to no, knock no, on no. the door and say, here you guys go. <laughs> here you guys here, go. Now we distribute to the world. And now, and now you get it. But um, it, it was dope. It was dope. And uh, I, sh I don't know if there are any awards out there for like live podcast. Uh, but if there are, we should be nominated. Like that was top notch. That's was all I got to say. I'll see you guys see you soon. Let's get to the interview. Yes, sir.